Welcome to the 2016-2017 ELA Year in Review. It's been an exciting year for us at the International and Heritage Languages Association. We'd love this opportunity to boast just a little bit about last year's accomplishments. This past year, we had a great number of special events that we would like to remember. In 2016, ELA was awarded with a very prestigious award, the UNESCO Lingua Pax Prize. This award was because of our efforts in helping Canadian families understand the importance of plurilingualism. This is work we have been doing for the past 40 years. We were so very honored to receive Dr. Monica Pereña from Spain, who came to offer us, with our, offer us our special prize. This photo was taken at a meet and greet event where we were provided with the opportunity for ELA members to meet and welcome Dr. Pereña. Thank you for coming. Can you believe that the International and Heritage Languages Association turns 40 in 2017? Time must really fly when you're having fun. This year, we celebrated this milestone with a special anniversary dinner. We would again like to thank our very special guests for attending and celebrating with us. Another one of the services that ELA provides to its member schools is our annual Mother Language Day. At this event, each school has the opportunity to set up an information booth and perform on a stage. This year marks our 14th event and we had over 20 schools perform and 28 schools set up information booths. The Canadian Association of Second Language Teachers, or more affectionately, CASALT, is an organization which supports us in our work. This year, their annual conference was held in Edmonton, Alberta. Three ELA members provided perspectives of language education in community heritage language schools. Although these schools differed in many different ways, such as size, length of operation, and funding, we still shared some common problems, such as curriculum development and access to materials. It was wonderfully exciting to be able to share our insights with each other and with others. ELA now has a wonderful sister partnership with Motormal in Reykjavik, Iceland. Motormal is similar to ELA in that it provides support for community heritage language schools. This year, we were fortunate to have a visit from Renata Peskova, Motormal's director. We hope to see you again very soon. ELA provides a lot of services to our members. The next few slides highlight our offerings. Professional development workshops are a fundamental principle in ELA. These opportunities support teachers in pedagogical aspects, but they also provide us with an important opportunity to meet and learn from each other. This year, ELA offered six different options for teachers. Each of these topics enhanced ELA members' professional toolkits. I can't wait to see what ELA plans on offering in the 2017-2018 school year. Another way in which ELA members stay connected is through principals meetings. This year we had three. School leadership gets together and discusses common issues and learns about upcoming ELA events. We would like to thank all of the principals who take time from their busy schedules to come and join us. An important service that ELA provides its members is a customized page for each school. This page on our website highlights curriculum and activities that take place in the school. This service is one way in which we help schools connect with potentially new families. In 2016, in December, ELA revamped its website. In just six months, we managed to get almost 10,000 views on the ELA webpage. That's almost 2,000 views each month. For schools, the ELA website is an important source of spreading the word about their schools and their fantastic programs. ELA also distributes information through the ELA newsletter. This year, the ELA newsletter focuses, focused on sharing events 
that were happening within school communities. You can find these newsletters at www.ihla.ca. The final thing we'd like to share with you is a little bit about the ELA Mentorship Program. One of ELA's missions is to help schools learn from one another. This year, ELA matched two schools, Chong Lak Home School and the Eritrean Community Tigrenya School. Together they met and they shared insights about curricular development and teacher training. Excellent work, you two. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. We hope you want to learn a little bit more about us and you can find us at www.ihla.ca. Thank you, see you soon.